Hey everyone, this is Aaron with DIY Home Repair. Today I'm going to be installing a single post toilet paper holder. Alright, so I picked this up at Home Depot a while back. Um, it's not in a set, um, but it does go with the other hardware in the ba that I have and that I am using in the bathroom. So that's kind of why I picked it up. A couple things to note about the single post holders is a lot of times there's this little um, uh, knob you have right here and that's really just to hold your uh, toilet paper on so you do want that facing up um, they're really not that hard to install um, I'm actually going to be installing mine to uh, the vanity here um, mainly because I don't have a spot on the wall that's close by um, so the vanity is always an option it's going to be a lot easier because I just have to put a couple screws in it versus putting toggle bolts in um, which is definitely nice so but let's go ahead and get started Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is just identify our spot and where we want this. Now, like I said, this thing, this little knob here needs to be going upwards um, uh, when it's leveled off. That way it holds your paper, toilet paper on. If you do turn it over and install it this way, you can do that. But my suggestion is tilt this up just a little bit. That way your toilet paper is always kind of back and it's not going to fall off on you. Um, but in this case, I'm going to go ahead and install it like this, the way it's designed to be installed. A um, couple things to note um, with the hardware that comes with it. So it's going to come with a couple of screws and your mounting plate here, and then your, uh, your Allen wrench to tighten the actual toilet paper holder down. Now, one thing, like I said, to note, when you install this, Again, you're installing it on a vanity, and a lot of times there are drawers here. Um, so you have, if you have long screws like this, you want to make sure um, that they're not going to hit into a drawer when you screw them in. And in my case, unfortunately, they will. So I'm actually going to switch over to, um, to some shorter screws here. Um, these will go through the vanity and still hold it up just fine. Um, but I'm going to switch because the other ones are too long. Uh, and where I want it. So I'm going to mark two spots um, where the screws need to go. So I'm just going to go right in about the middle of that. Give yourself a little bit of room. Right there. two spots there and I'm going to take my level here and make sure it's straight then once it's plumb we'll just go ahead and draw a line connecting our two dots now the way we know it's plumb is just by looking at that top part of the level and making sure the bubble is in between the two lines so now that we have our line drawn all we need to do is mount the bracket on the line. This will help us make sure that when we mount the toilet paper holder, it is level. Now when we mount the bracket, we just want to make sure that each screw is touching the line. Now that the bracket is installed, we can go ahead and place the toilet paper holder over the top of the mounting bracket. To do this, we need to make sure that the set screw is backed out far enough that the holder will just fit over the top of the bracket and that the holder is positioned properly on the bracket. So now we can go ahead and take our level and place it on the toilet paper holder arm and just make sure we're still good. Now if you're not, you will be able to move the holder a little bit, but not a lot. Now once we've verified that it's level, we'll go ahead and tighten down our set screw. Alright, so as you can see, that's really a pretty easy install. 
um, not a lot to it, especially if you're going into a vanity uh, where you're screwing into wood or something like that. Um, now, a couple things just to note, you want to make sure this little knob is facing upward, keeps the toilet paper on, and when you screw into the wall here of your vanity or the side of your vanity, uh, make sure you're not hitting anything on the other side. Like I said, I had a drawer and I couldn't use this long a screw, so I did have to change out and get some smaller ones. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Um, if you're going into a wall where you've got drywall, you're going to want to make sure you have toggle bolts or some kind of a drywall anchor. But other than that, it really isn't that bad. Uh, pretty easy, pretty simple to do. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you turn on notifications so you get alerted when the newest videos come out. Thanks again.